While ATP is the fuel that supplies the energy for muscles to work, unlike some other types of fuel you might be familiar with, it's not a case of simply filling up the body's tank with ATP and off we go. In fact, the body has three different energy systems and they all work together to enable our muscles to contract and allow us to perform an incredible range of movements. The first two energy systems we'll examine are called anaerobic energy systems. That is, they function without oxygen. Firstly, the ATP-PC system. PC stands for phosphocreatine. Let's look more closely at an ATP molecule. Its molecular diagram looks like this. When the energy from an ATP molecule is released, one of the phosphate groups, consisting of one phosphorus atom and three oxygens, splits away. The remaining molecule is known as ADP, or adenosine diphosphate. Its molecular diagram looks like this. But when PC, or phosphocreatine, which is also found in muscle cells, reacts with ADP, it donates a phosphate group to the ADP molecule, and an ATP molecule is again formed. When PC gives off its phosphate group, a molecule known as creatine is left. For this reaction to take place, an enzyme called creatine kinase must be present. This series of reactions is the basis of the ATP-PC energy system. ATP synthesizes to ADP and re-synthesizes to ATP with the help of PC molecules and the enzyme. These reactions take place very quickly inside the muscles and because PC is stored in the muscles it is the first energy system used during high intensity physical activity. The muscles only store about 10 seconds worth of PC so any physical activity that involves quick short bursts of energy makes heavy use of the ATP PC system. When the 10 seconds worth of PC is used up muscles start relying on the second anaerobic energy system for the bulk of their energy. This second anaerobic energy system is known as the lactic acid system. It works by synthesizing new ATP molecules from glycogen, which is the stored form of sugar in our bodies. The reaction is known as glycolysis, and because it doesn't involve oxygen, it's called anaerobic glycolysis. Through a complex series of reactions, glycogen breaks down into ATP and lactic acid. This anaerobic glycolysis occurs when muscles are working above their lactate threshold, something we'll look at in more detail later in the program. As lactic acid builds up in our muscles, they begin to hurt and feel stiff, and this serves as a signal that our muscles are wanting a rest. Anaerobic glycolysis is the basis of the lactic acid energy system. During high intensity exercise, it takes about 10 seconds to really kick in and lasts about another 20 seconds or so before the third system starts to play the most important part in providing muscles with the energy they need.